What is up, bros? This is a Brubinati back with Age of Civilizations 2 and our Germany World War II conquest. The map has fixed itself. All we needed to do was relog. Uh, Germany is no longer partially in the Atlantic. Look at this nice thickness to the German Reich. But we're not done yet. We I'm not happy with our thickness. We are going on a McDonald's only diet and we are getting thicker. So, up next, Soviet Union. I've got troops moving into place. Ten thousands um, in each territory here, a couple twenties here, and then twenties along here. If they are going to mount some resistance, I expect it to be right along here. That's why I got some watchtowers building all along here. Uh, as of now, though, they are still at war with the British Raj. We don't want to fight them while they're at war with the British Raj again, because we're just going to get screwed at the peace conference. So we got 40-some rounds until we can declare again. So hopefully this war right here will be over by then. Uh, I think that is it as far as the military aspect. Um, we still got some troops down here to take them out in... Syria again. As far as diplomacy and our allies, Spain still at war with Abyssinia. Italy, no surprise, still at war with the UK. Although, look what they've done. They have taken back a lot of the land. They were done here. They were completely forced out. Um, who else? Turkey. Still at war with Abyssinia. So, like I said, the British Raj is still at war with the Soviet Union. Iran is still at war with Afghanistan. Spain is still in control of the UK. And bros, don't don't think I forgot that Ireland had declared war on me. We will take them out. Their time will come. Brazil looking nice and thick in South America. And I think that is about it. So I will let my troops get into place. And then we will um, see what we are towards rounds. And we might do something else while we're waiting. Not exactly sure what that would be. Oh, 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 oh. We got a million and we've got a ton. I mean, just an absolute crap load of assimilations to do. Let me get my clicker warmed up. All right, we're good. Click away, click away, click, 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 get a simul. Hey, what the hell? Oh, yes, damn it. Always. I always forget. It takes diplomacy. Apparently, we did not assimilate quick enough because now we've got a rebel problem. Damn it. Oh, this is going to... Bros, look at this. Oh my god, it's going to take forever. Wow, I'm going to be assimilating this entire series, probably. What's left of it. Oh, shit. Well, whatever. We have plenty of money, we just don't have the diplomatic points. And, um, rebels. Okay, what are we going to do about these? I'm sure I can't recruit very much from here. We did learn, only send what you think you absolutely have to into rebel territory because whatever you send just gets turned to the other faction somehow. Although that was when we were still at war with the Soviet Union and we sent like 5,000 in and then they all turned into Soviet troops. What if we're not at war with the Soviet Union anymore and we send in 5,000 troops and win? Does that do we just take over the territory, or does it go back to those just miraculously turning into Soviet troops? I don't know. And along our front, I got the watchtowers up, and they have no troops. Okay, I'm going to test this. I'm going to send a small amount of troops in, though, like, let's say 500. And see what happens. Because I built a watchtower. They got no troops there right now. This is like testing. Okay, so that tells us something. When you are no longer at war with the people that are owning that area, 
that the rebels now occupy. When you take it over, it just becomes yours instead of your troops somehow just turning into the enemy troops. Like I said, that has to be a bug. That should get fixed at some time. But until it does, uh, remember that. Finishing off the rebels. Let that be a lesson to you. Do not rise up against your German occupiers. We were giving out free puppies, by the way. That just, show, that just shows you what type of people these rebels are. They're not trustworthy. These are the type of people that hate puppies. Hey, look what we got going on down here. Soviet troops are pushing into the British Raj a little bit. See, the British Raj are also at war with Siam here. The most unexpected thing just happened. We are at war with Tanatuva. What in the shit is going on? Are you kidding me? And you guys did that a little bit close to a pretty decent army. This is why they are no longer in existence. Well, this and the Soviet Union. Okay, let's see. Let's just look strategically at the map and see if this was a good idea for Tanatuva. Let's back out until we can see all of Germany. Uh, yeah, this this was probably not a good career move. Oh, Tanatuva is moving out. Take it, storming German lines. Taking territory at will. Oh my god. Oh, look what we got here. Italy has invaded Portugal. How's Italy doing down here? Italy is taking on... Hold on, don't tell me you're at... What the hell's going on here? That's Portugal. Who's Portugal at war with? Just Italy. Well, who's Italy at war with? I'm pretty sure this was France, so how did that happen? Oh! Tanatuva, the fun has come to an end. Uh, yeah, that's not gonna... That's not gonna work this time. All right, I'm I'm more confused now. What the hell is going on here? Okay, now they are at war with France. Okay, they took that territory before they were at war with France, but now they are at war with France. All right. And uh, we're actually cool with them, so we don't have to worry about Portugal coming at our borders. All right. All is good. The ongoing Tanatuvan war... Probably harder than the invasion of the Soviet Union. Oh, fun time is over, bros. I'm still trying to build up the economy of Berlin to make it the greatest economy in the world. The continuation of the great Tanatuva germany war. And it's just not looking good for Tanatuva right now. Oh, bros. Why did you do that? I was prepared... I was prepared to let you live in peace. They're coming out swinging. Oh, boom! A Tanatuva goes down. Go ahead and get our clicking on. Click, click, click. You're done. Enjoy that L. All right, bros, I am back. Had to take three hours off to watch my Kansas City Chiefs play. I came just in time to see our German civilization enter into the golden age of science. Still trying to wrap up what seems to be an endless amount of assimilations. No matter how many times I assimilate, there's always more to do. Bros, I wanted to show you a very special moment. The final assimilation. Boom. Done. Alright, so now what's been going on? Well, Turkey just declared on the UK. Alright. The British Raj is wrecking the Soviet Union, which means if we attack now, uh, we're going to end up with crap um, victory points again. So... I mean, I was hoping this would wrap up. 
I don't know what the hell's going on there. They're still going at it, though. So, Turkey's at war with the UK, Abyssinia, and now... Oh, they joined in with um, Italy. Minus the Portugal. Spain, Abyssinia, but... Look at what's going on with France. France is at war with Belgium and Portugal. Looks like they're having it out right here. And I'm trying to decide if I'm going to wait to go into Russia or not. So I was sitting here trying to decide what I wanted to do here with the Soviet Union. And I think the British Raj and the Soviet Union are in one of those wars like Italy and the UK. So it's probably going to be ongoing. So I'm just going to invade them both at the exact same time. We're going to get a little bit of risky here. I could, I could, you know, take the Soviet Union out and have my main army right here. But who wants to do that? We want to be a little bit risky. I'm assuming that this battle has completely weakened them both um assuming so british raj soviet union and there we go it's game time all right bros the plans have been laid an invasion on all fronts Go ahead and uh, see how this works out. Damn, they had 5,000 there. I just got beat. Uh, maybe that was their... Hopefully that was just their main army, right? That's what they had going up against the Soviet Union. Because I just took an L up there. I mean, nothing I can't come back from, but... That was definitely an L. Everywhere else is just no Soviet troops whatsoever. None. Completely open. Oh, they're coming at me. Get wrecked, kid. <gasps> Damn, they got... They had... They had more! Look at this! Good thing I had a 20 up there. The British Raj was not playing around, were they? Alright bros, here we go again. Hopefully, I'm, I'm thinking that probably wrecked their main force. That's probably what they were using to take on the Soviet Union and now it's gone. Yeah, that appears to be what happened. Achievement unlocked. Extension. Uh, what the hell is that? I got an achievement! I extended something. Oh, uh, now the, the resistance is stiffening. They are throwing literally hundreds of troops at us. Oh, the Soviet Union with their first counterattack. And it gets wrecked. They are folding yet again. Oh, just took an L there. Throwing down another round of beatings. Yup. No troops now. And I think the British Raj is also done at this point. Oh! They had a few there. Oh. Uh-oh, they're not done. Okay, this might get interesting. I don't have that many troops over here. These troops are going to have to come in there and, uh... Plug this up. Damn, I did not expect that. Here we go again. I'm more interested to see what happens with the British Raj, though. And what they're going to do with their 20,000 troops they have. 
They got me outmanned over there. Until my larger army gets there. Yep. They got me. The Soviets with a major counterattack of five men. And another 11. Where are they getting this manpower from? Damn, I'm taking L's. British Raj had way more troops than I thought. And uh, I was just like, there's no way they have that many troops. Um, I'm not going to build watchtowers to see how many troops they have. What a waste of money. The British Raj won't have any troops. Uh, yeah, not, not, not so. Although they didn't attack over here where I'm my weakest, but I do have troops in the area now. All right, here we go. Oh! The Soviet Union throwing down huge armies. Where are they getting this manpower? Get wrecked, British Raj. You got the largest portion of the German army coming at you. Be afraid, be very afraid. All right, here we go. Wrapping up the Caucasus. I think maybe I got the British Raj on the run now. We're about to find out here because I'm going in. Yep. I think, okay, now I think that was it. And of course, since my troops moved, I've got a bunch more fresh assimilations to do. This is what we're looking at right now. Just about got the Soviet Union wrapped up. British Raj. Um, are they at war with other people besides... Oh my god, they're at war with Germany, Soviet Union, Iran, Australia, Nepal, and rebels? Holy crap. And here we go. Yeah, okay, with that many people against the British Raj, there's no way we're going to see, like, huge numbers of troops left. I unlocked an achievement, Elder! So now there are definitely achievements. Just about to meet up with our Iranian bros. They have got a huge amount of territory. For Iran. The new Persian Empire. There are no troops in the Caucasus. I mean, Iran's getting it done with like fives. What Iran is doing right now would piss me off. Oh, we have, we have rebels and that might be a problem. If I attack these areas, that could be a problem. Oh, I just took an L. We got to get snuck in here before I ran closes it off. One more territory in the Caucasus and we are done there. They just... Did you just see what they did? They cut me off. I should just go to war with Iran. That, that really does piss me off. And my troops are already on the border. Mm, I'm gonna, I'm, I've got some decisions to make here. The caucuses are officially cleared. Yeah, it happened again. You see that? I was smart about it that time. I didn't send like 10,000 in. Okay, that's what I was hoping for. That the British Raj would take back over that territory. Now we can get in there. Oh, boom. And now we're headed down south. And 
That should be it for the Soviet Union. Although it says 99 because I'm sure Iran has some of their territory. Which is probably going to screw us in the peace conference. Oh look they're coming back with a 5,000. And then they get destroyed. Oh look what happened. Soviet Union got back some of their territory. Noise. For us anyways. Oh, the British Raj keeps trying. I'm going to have to keep pumping troops in there though because they do they do keep coming at me. Oh, damn. How are they finding all these troops? Look, look at what Iran has done to them. Look at what Nepal has done to them. This is this is why Iran's going through there no problem is because we're sitting up here taking the brunt of their army. All right, here's the last of the Soviet Union again. So I am looking at this and it still says they have a five provinces somewhere. I wish you could click and kind of like see. But I don't think you can. I do now remember where two of them are at right up here. Or maybe that's just one. We're about to find out. Okay, let's take a quick break to look at what our allies are up to. Spain, still. Italy, still. Turkey, still. All right, well, that wraps it up. Moving further in to the British Raj. And uh, let me show you a little something here. I am preparing for an invasion of Iran. They've got a little bit too strong for my liking. Plus they tried to block me off from taking the British Raj. Look at the Paul getting some land too. Well, actually they did block me off. So yeah, they, they get invaded. Sorry bros that wanted me to be an ally with Iran. Uh, they pissed me off. So look at this. Afghanistan wants to form a coalition against Iran. Not right now. I'm not ready. We'll do, we might do that later on. Okay, so here is what we've got going on. We are setting up for an invasion of Iran. That's probably going to wait till next episode. But they're just getting too big for my liking. I'll probably um, wrap this up with a peace treaty with the Soviet Union. They are down to holding two territories. I better not have a peace deal and they get to keep like half their freaking territory when they only actually have two territories left. And um, I got a special invasion for you. So Afghanistan is at war with Iran right now. China is at war with Iran. So here is the map right now. Iran, I guess, gave back um, a lot of the British Raj territory because they couldn't have reached these ones. They could have attacked and took this stuff, but they were not going to reach all the way up there. So they must have gave it back to them. So this right here was the special invasion I was talking about. Remember, when I first declared war against the Soviet Union, Ireland declared war on me. Well, it is payback time. There we go. Ireland, you probably were hoping I forgot about that. Who else is at war? Dominican Republic and Haiti. Oh, get wrecked. We got a large force going into Dublin, so we'll see how many they have to defend with. Not enough. And here it goes. Ireland. Big mistake. Well, look what we got here. Afghanistan is taking on Iran and winning. Who? Are they still at war with? Okay, there's a war with Ireland. 
the British Raj, Afghanistan, and China. And no wonder they're having a little bit of an issue. Uh, oh, they did take me there, but guess what? I got backup coming in. Yeah, that victory didn't last long. Uh, your 4,000 would normally be good, but not, not here. That is not going to get it done. Oh, boom! Ireland has been wiped out. Let that be a lesson. Damn, they do have some troops down here, though, don't they? So my goal is to go ahead and take New Delhi. Oh, shit, I left that unguarded. I want to take New Delhi. I'm going to call our, uh, wrap up our peace treaties and call this episode good. All right, we're trying to go into New Delhi right here, bros. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. I got some troops coming in from the north. We'll clear that back up. Oh, boom! New Delhi has fallen, bros. And with that, let's do our peace treaties and wrap this up. Ireland first. Let the clicking begin. I'm going to be so pissed at the USSR one, though, if I have to give up a bunch of territory to them. Boom! Demands have been sent. Soviet Union. Get to clicking. Okay, that looks like a lot of points. We might be able to take everything. Maybe. Let me just, um, a moment of silence for the click. Maybe you can actually hear the clicking come through on the mic. So let's just be quiet and enjoy the click. And again, let me say this. For you new people, before you say, there is a button to take all. Yes, I do know this, but... I am the power of the clicker, and I will click. God himself could not stop me from clicking. A moment of silence for the click. I should have turned down the music, so it would have been more likely you could hear the ferocity at which I am clicking with. The mere sound of my click finger alone would, would destroy enemy lines. It would break their will to fight. Make sure I grab these two. I forgot about those last time. If we don't get them all, we're going to get almost all of them. Oh, I nearly forgot. Syria. Oh, boom! That is it for the Soviet Union. Oh, shit, I forgot to do something with them. I was so excited about taking the Soviet Union, I forgot about that. I forgot I was at war. Alright, well, that's all they did, so who cares? 
Okay, bros, here now lies the glorious German Empire, or if you choose the uh, German Reich, whatever you want to call it. It is massive. It is thick. Next episode, we will make it get even thicker. Finish off the British Raj. Have our decision about Afghanistan and Iran. Um, and let, I, let Ireland be a lesson. Do not declare war on us when we're trying to go to war with somebody else. With that, bros, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. If you're enjoying this content, you know what to do. Slap the like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And I will be back here for our next upload. Peace. Bruminati out.